Welcome back to the cabin, everyone. Well, it was a really frosty morning this morning, and we're getting a little bit of rain that might turn to snow. So I know you guys have been seeing me winterizing the cabin in terms of getting the plumbing ready and such. Um, today, I'm going to winterize it for my little bird friends. My little bird viewing platform. I also watch them inside the cabin with great joy as I have my morning coffee. And if the bird activity tells us anything this year, I think it's going to be a harsh winter. Whenever I'm at the cabin, I put out seeds for the birds, uh, usually into the fall time and early spring as they're getting ready to nest. And let me tell you, putting seeds out now, the birds are just mobbing the feeders. They cannot get enough. They are caching the seeds. So they cache all the seeds amongst the little trees all around me under the bark. And the jays have been eating uh, the peanuts and caching the peanuts as well. Um, so I think it's going to be a pretty rough winter. <laughs> Royce's coat is getting super thick. Um, and if you look at the woolly bear caterpillars this year, um, what I've been noticing is it's a central light brown parts are really long. So they've been for a long, hard winter, but I guess we'll have to find out and see. But today, you know, I've got this little setup before with like the little rope and everything with my little feeder. Uh, I got this really cool, um, bird feeding pole system from Princess Auto recently. Great deal. All in one. I'm going to put it together today. Let's take a look. Royce's favorite job is uh, keeping the squirrels away from the bird feeders. So this is the station that I got. It's uh, by North States. It's all in one at Princess Auto. It was a great deal. Uh, so as you can see, it comes with a pole set. So seven feet tall pole and four feeders, which is a bonus. And so it comes with something to put in like your nuts and your seeds, your suet, another uh, a tubular seed feeder. And this is for Niger seed. So I'm going to set this up today. Let's take a look. So I've got it all laid out here on the little table. So these are the different poles um, for the system. Oh, I forgot to mention, it comes with this tray right here, uh, which attaches on. You can put like mealworms or fruit or something like that in there. I think that's really cool. Or, or the peanuts in the shell. So that's pretty neat. I forgot to mention it comes with that. So these are the, I mean, pretty decent little feeders that it comes with. I don't have niger seed with me today and I don't have the suet just yet, but I do have the peanuts uh, and a bunch of seeds. So we're going to set that up for them, but it looks like really easy peasy. Just had to dig into the bottom of the box there for the instructions. Um, so basically um, it tells you the order of the poles. Uh, the C is the top pole, B is the two middle poles, and A is the bottom pole with the stakes. So you just stick them together and wing nuts uh, to put them together. So that's super easy. And this one kind of fits right in there. So that's another, that's like step two basically. It's pretty easy. Just connect them together like that and tighten the wing nut. And then wherever you want this little feeder, you just kind of loosen this wing nut and you kind of slide it down the pole. And you can kind of tighten it exactly where you want it. And I'm pretty sure that's going to turn into the squirrel feeder. And then the top parts just screw on like that. So super easy. It's taking me less than five minutes to put this whole thing together. Really starting to pour rain now, but uh, here I have it right here. You can see, see right down there. Now I just have to sort of push it into the ground. Geez, I can barely get it up and the birds are already at it. <laughs> so I took down my ugly yellow rope. Um, so now I'm just gonna fill up the other feeders and put them on here and get some peanuts uh, into this little uh, feeder here. I might put some mealworms there in the spring. But yeah, that was super easy. Uh, don't sleep on this deal, guys. It's really inexpensive. You're not going to find a pole system for that price. You know, it's reasonably made too as well. Um, so so next time I'll bring up some suet and uh, we do get house finches and purple finches and stuff uh, over the winter. So I will get some niger seed and fill that up uh, for another time. I just can't wait. Hang on, birdies. I'm a coming. You'll have to check this out. Literally, this feeder's been up a few moments, and a hairy woodpecker is already feeding. So over the years, I've gotten a lot of heat for, you know, feeding the birds here at the cabin. People thinking the birds are getting dependent on me in terms of the food, and that's certainly not the case. Uh, they're seasonally fed, sort of fed during times when they... Uh, you know, they need a little extra support, like before the winter or during um, nesting season. Take a look. Um, so, um, you know, they, they these woods are rich. You know, they we quite often won't even hit the feeders in the summertime if I was to put stuff out. Um, they're just so busy getting like insects and things like that uh, around here. Uh, caterpillars and things like that, worms. Lots of uh, good food from around here. This is just a supplement. Uh, so they do not become completely dependent on me. They certainly, um, you know, they stash stuff. 
uh, all throughout the under the bark for like the whole year I'm sure of it the amount of seeds that they go through here so I'm not super worried about it So as you can see on the pole feeder, um, the feeders are set up quite close together. So it does set up a bit of a competitive environment. So you know, some of the birds kind of take their time, wait for one bird to come in and then, uh, there's a hairy woodpecker right there on the feeder. Um, so some are more confident birds and they'll, um, they'll feed while others are feeding. Others get a little bit bullied by the bigger birds and so they'll just wait and come in. So that's one thing about these pole systems. If you have a lot of feeders set up, some might be a bit shy and may not feel comfortable coming in uh, to feed while some of the bigger birds are there like the jays, but I'd say this feeder is a tremendous success already. This has been up less than 10 minutes and they're hitting it like crazy. Yeah, this pole system is literally 40 bucks right now at Princess Auto. So if you want to have a nice quick little setup uh, at your cottage or cabin or house, don't forget to pick that up. What do you do to uh, prepare your little birds for the winter in your yard, at your cottages and cabins? Let me know down below in the comments. I so enjoy feeding these guys and supporting them, and I hope you will too over this winter. We have a great week as always. Bye for now.